Well, welcome back to Living Our American Dream, everybody. You've seen from the intro of this video, I've got a load of wood that I unloaded into the shop here, and I will save you the suspense. I'm building a camper. I'm building a square drop camper pod. That's what I'm calling it. So on YouTube, I've seen videos of teardrop campers. I've seen videos of square drop campers. I've seen the overland off-road version of all of these. What I haven't seen yet, actually I take that back, I've seen one video that I'm cribbing my design off of and that's from a guy, his channel's called Seeking Adventure and he built a square-backed camper pod. He didn't call it a pod like I am, but uh, it goes on a trailer, but it also comes off the trailer. So the box, the camper box itself, uh, you know, you winch it up onto the trailer when you need it, secure it on there, and then, you know, go camping. And the rest of the season, which for me, we go camping probably two to four times a year, maximum 20 days out of a whole year. So it would be nice to have my trailer available for the whole rest of the year and not have a dedicated trailer just sitting under the camper. So I'm going to attempt to build a camper pod. So behind me, back in this stack right here, is custom ordered five by 10 plywood. So I build this thing out of plywood. My trailer, you see me come in with the Jeep. It's a five wide by 10 deep. My camper pod is gonna sit on these two four by sixes back here, which are gonna act as skids when I winch this thing on and off. And then the camper itself also, cause I have the, the five foot plywood the camper is going to be five feet tall which most of these things are made four feet because four by eight sheets of plywood are easy and you can do kind of the whole thing out of one sheet of plywood i'm going to do the same thing but i'm going to use five by ten plywood i have a sketch let me show you what that looks like so now i've stepped to the back of the shop here you can see kind of where i'm at here's my plywood five across ten long I brought my sketch over here to show you guys what this is going to look like. Now let's take a minute right here and show you the concept and what this is going to be when I'm finished. So I've got a box that's five feet tall. It's going to be five feet wide, 10 feet long. I'm going to have a 36 inch by 30 inch door on both sides. So one on the driver's side, one on the passenger side. And I'm going to have a 24 by 20 window on each side. The front end of this, I've got a, a little bit of space right here. So when you immediately go inside, probably the first 12 inches or so is gonna be shelving right here for clothes, shoes, whatever we need uh, to store inside of there. Then from wherever that takes off to this dotted line is gonna be about six and a half to seven feet uh, for a queen size bed. So a queen size bed is five feet wide, six and a half feet long. So we'll fit a queen size bed in here. Then I'll have a divider wall, and the dotted line here represents the, the divider wall on the inside of the structure. That's gonna separate the sleeping cabin from the storage area slash kitchen in the back. Now, I don't have a sketch of that, but there's gonna be a hatch on the back of here that opens up like this on some gas struts with a four foot by four foot square opening in the back of here. And my plan is to have like two intermediate shelves that go across here. And I've got shore power connection here. So when I'm connected to shore power, which is most of our camping, uh, there's gonna be receptacles in the cabin area for charging phones and, and whatever we want. There's gonna be an exterior receptacle on each side. So depending on what our campsite looks like, what side of it we, we park on and where our, where our power comes in, I uh, haven't decided yet, but I show a, a representation of, of uh, the shore power connection being on the driver's side. It doesn't really matter. We carry a pretty long extension cord. And uh, additionally, in this storage area, there'll be a couple of receptacles, one in particular feeding a dormitory style refrigerator like you'd see in a college dorm room. We're gonna put a, a dorm fridge right back here. Now, a lot of guys like to do the off-road, you know, the, the fancy cooler looking refrigerators, but I, just, I think that's unnecessary for what we're gonna use here. Uh, we're not really doing a lot of overlanding, off-roading type stuff. 
I mean, this trailer would be fit to do a little bit of that. Uh, nothing extreme, but in most cases, we put our stuff in the refrigerator and, and it should be better than the coolers that we use and we gotta run for ice all the time. So let's focus over here. I put a couple of dimensions on here. So I, I drew this to scale. So this should be, even the tire on the trailer is drawn to scale. The ground clearance is to scale. So the very top corner of my, my camper box is gonna be six foot 10. So let's call it seven feet off the ground. Then I've got a, a powered vent that's gonna be in the top that'll stick up, you know, probably three, four, five inches maybe. Um, what I don't show on the top of here that I'll add at some point is a rack for a canoe or some kayaks and then an awning on one side. Um, again, the awning being on one side kind of dictates which side you're going to have open to your campsite. So I haven't decided how I'm going to do that. I don't really want to purchase two awnings, but maybe I'll do that. Over here, you see some other dimensions. So... <clears throat> By the way, I, I recently put a, if you watch my channel, you know I have a, a Jeep Wrangler that I really enjoy. I recently upgraded the wheels and tires on that thing and put a, a two inch lift on it. Looks real nice now. But I put this dimension here so that I know if I tow this camper with my Jeep, my cab of my Jeep is six foot two inches. The front corner of my aerodynamics is five nine. So should match up fairly decent. And then this is a, this is a one foot rise right here. You can kind of tell five, nine to, to six, 10, about one, one foot. Uh, the truck cab that will primarily be towing this with is six foot eight inches. So it's only like two inches higher than the actual truck cab. So this thing's not gonna draw a lot of air. You know, it's not gonna have a ton of wind drag. So I'm pretty excited to do this project and you know, I, I think doing it this way should save a little bit of work in that, number one, I don't have to build a trailer or a frame or any of that stuff because I have it already. This is a pretty well-built trailer. Um, I bought it from uh, a local trailer sales place. It's a SureTrack trailer. They're made in, I don't even remember, one of the states south of here. But it's got, you know, LED lights on the back, reflective stuff all over it already. It's got the little... LED blingers here all over the side. So I don't have to do any trailer lighting, any trailer wiring, any of that stuff. So I'm gonna build this box and put it on here and see how it looks. And my spare tire, a couple of other details, my spare tire rack is here. Of course, you can see by my drawing that I had, there's gonna be a door right here. So that's gonna be in the way. We're gonna cut that off and mount the spare back here. That way it's out of the way. And obviously my, my gate, my trailer has a, a swing gate that comes down, a ramp gate, and that detaches for the, for the purpose of this. Once the spare's gone off the front, I'm gonna put a, a tongue box right here for some additional storage for just a few things, whatever we think we would need camping, or just in general, I, I've been wanting to put a, a tongue box on this trailer anyway. So I'm not gonna get really fancy with this. The purpose, of doing this camper is so my wife and I, when we go camping, we don't have to sleep in the tent on the ground anymore. I mean, we've been doing the air mattress thing for a while. We have three kids, all teenaged age. I guess it's not quite teenage, my youngest is 10. But the three of them can share a tent now and they should be able to use our air mattress and whatever else. It's There'll just be more room for them in there for three of them rather than five of us. And then, you know, of course we have a place to keep our food protected and dry and, uh, and have a place to, to be inside there. So I'm pretty excited about this project and I hope I can get some of you guys to stick around and watch the videos. I'm gonna do a, a multi-video series on this in the upcoming month, <clears throat> probably month and a half. Our first camping trip this year is at the end of June. So the plan is to have this thing up and going by the end of June. Right now is the beginning, almost the middle of April right now. So I've got about a month and a half to do this. And I think I can do it as long as all the stuff that I order shows up on time. <laughs> so anyway, I appreciate you watching this kickoff video and look forward to, to doing this series. And I appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you on the next video.